very very good noon to all of you. At the outset, I would like to uh, thank uh, the moderator for recording this opportunity for speaking before such an august audience. This topic indeed is not that comfortable to speak on before such an audience. We are represented for innovators are present who feel that compulsory licensing is nothing short of poor feature of their patent rights. At the same time, at the same time, gentlemen who rather was responsible for writing a judgment on the first compulsory licensing in India. Before such an idea of speaking on this, on this topic is not easy, is nothing short of getting sandwiched between two very hard pressing slices. <laughs> when you, this has already been uh, spoken by moderator in a very, very vivid manner, the purpose of compulsory licensing. Now I will touch upon how it came into being, how it became imperative for all the member states of WTO to enact legislation providing a provision for this compulsory licensing. If you look at it, compulsory licensing, UN Commission on Human Rights itself declared that access to medication is a fundamental element for achieving human rights. International Covenant on Economic